Friday before the Browns head to Baltimore, and we know for sure that they will not have either of their starting tackles on Sunday. Jedrick Wills, of course, on IR, but Dewan Jones will also be out of this game, Mary Kay. So kind of the worst fears as this week went along that they're not going to have, that they're going to have to really dig into their tap, tackle depth here. Yeah, you know, it wouldn't have been too bad to have to try to make up for the loss of Jed Wills. They could have done that. You plug James Hudson in over there and off you go. Chip him a little bit and you could probably get through that. But to be without Dewan Jones, who's really done a phenomenal job in pass blocking this season, that really hurts. I mean, he is a man mountain. He's a beast. And I think he would have done a nice job trying to hold off some of these Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, and Ashley, you know, we're talking about Garen Christian or possibly Alex Leatherwood. A lot of these names the Browns fans are going to have to get to know, and it's just going to make things difficult, especially if the Browns want to attack down the field. Yeah, I mean, all week we've been struggling, I think, to remember those three main practice squad guys that can, you know, potentially be up to be elevated. Leroy Watson is the other one, I think. Um, so there's just so much unknown there and like Mary Kay said I mean I think it's easier if you have to plug James Hudson in somewhere and you have Dewan because James has done this before he's done this before the last couple of years and this year they've really been hammering him as a swing tackle but I think right now it's like we don't know who's going to be that other tackle and we don't even know which side they're going to play James Hudson on. Now there is some good news on the injury front or we think maybe some good news. Greg Newsom is at least questionable for this game so he'll try to give it a go but Mary Kay the Browns are also a little bit thin at the receiver position. Yeah they are. Both David Bell and Marquise Goodwin have been ruled out of this game with their injuries. Marquise has a concussion. David Bell a knee. So they're a little bit thin at receiver as they head into this game and I think it is a bit of a challenge because Marquise is kind of your go ball guy and so they're going to have to find somebody else that can kind of just shoot down the field and uh, and try to catch one of those long balls from Deshaun Watson which we know he loves to throw. Yeah I was looking it up Amari Cooper has been their best deep ball target but at least Marquise Goodwin gives you an option to throw it down there. We've seen Deshaun try to target him and they came close against Arizona so Ashley they've got to figure this out a little bit more at receiver. Yeah I mean I think it's so tough because this Ravens defense is so good and I've been saying this all week they're much more equipped than the Cardinals defense was to account for Amari Cooper and make life really hard for him and defend him more effectively to take that away so I think overall it is going to be a challenge for Deshaun Watson because not only is that protection going to be a question his number one option out there it's going to probably be a little bit tougher to get him the ball this week. Now Friday is of course the day that Miles Garrett speaks to us and Mary Kay he didn't uh, backtrack off what he told Kay Adams earlier this week on her show he still ranks Joe Burrow ahead of Lamar Jackson. Yeah, he does, and I think it's a bold thing to do when you're heading into M&T Bank Stadium to take on Lamar, who a lot of people think is having an MVP type of season. But nevertheless, uh, Miles will be Miles, and uh, he was willing to do it. I asked him, you know, why do you have no qualms about saying something like this as you head into this big game? And he said, you know, you just you still have to go out there and you have to play the game. So he stands behind it. Yeah, Ashley, I mean, I, you know, it is what it is. If they win, Baltimore will make a big deal out of it. If the Browns win, it'll just be a footnote, I guess. Right, I mean, it's kind of like what happened last time these two played with Roquan Smith and what he said about the Browns, and there was a lot of talk about it in the lead-up to the game, and then the Ravens came here, took care of business, and the Browns didn't have too much to say about that. So I am curious, though, like, I mean, Miles always knows what he's saying, so the fact that he doubled down on it, to me, was really interesting, and I don't think calculated is the right word, but I think Miles always knows what he is doing in those interview settings, and I'm not exactly sure what the Browns have to gain by him saying that. Maybe it's because he sacks Joe Burrow all the time, so he just wants to make that. He wants to elevate all those sacks that he gets against Joe Burrow. I don't know. If we figure it out, we'll tell you, and we'll cover everything else, too, at cleveland.com slash Browns.